Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So back on House Flipper. Uh, I'm enjoying this a lot. So in the last episode we did the... Uh, we laid all this out, got all the interior walls laid out. Um, and we did the bathroom. So this is our little bathroom. It's very cosy, very snug, but does everything you need it to do. Um, it doesn't have a radiator or anything, but let's not talk about that. Uh, so close that one back up again. We do have this slightly odd set up with the doors here. Um, I do think in reality the door would just open inwards into the bathroom would be work, would work a lot better. But uh, there you go. Um, so I'm considering leaving this wall brick, or at least part of this wall brick. Um, but we are not going to tackle this room today we are going to tackle the bedroom uh, and in the bedroom i am not going to have a brick wall so i think what i might, might just do is um give it all a coat of paint and put the flooring down just to bring it all up to consistent level so it's just easier to see i think all right so let me go do that Right, so I'm giving it all a lick of paint. I actually went with this, um, what was this called again? Uh, faded lemon, <laughs> which I'm not all that keen on to be honest. Um, I think we are going to go with something like this kind of carpet throughout. We might see how we get on with this colour. Because um, I might just go accents in something else, like in the furniture. What can we do that's like going to fill that space? So I'm thinking this is going to probably be a, a manny kind of place. I don't really know why, it just feels like it is already. Steel. Wenge. Wenge. Maybe we just go really kind of minimalist like that. A big bedroom, great. Oh, it's so huge. Excellent. There's me thinking it was small. I mean, it is only a single bed, guys. I can probably get a little cupboard in there. A little chest of drawers or something. Bedside table. Well, a bedside table would definitely go in. What's that one like? Does that come in the Van Gogh? Yeah. Does that, will that fit perfectly in there? It will. Hmm. Okay. Does that look a bit random though? that as well. What about up here? I suppose we're running out of space to get past the bed if we put it up here. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. This is the problem with this game. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the sort of game that I spend so long faffing around <laughs> with little tiny decisions. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't know what it is. It doesn't look right like this either. It looks like a cell. I mean, it's going to look a bit like that anyway, because it's tiny. But once we've got some stuff up on the walls, some pictures and whatever. Yeah, I think this will look cool, guys. Once we've got, um, once we've got some plants and things in here, I think this is going to work. Uh, let's get that lamp again. Need some bits and pieces on the on the desk. Ooh, can that go in the? No, that's too big. Um, what can we get over here? Table lamp. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Stuff to go up on that wall. This is very bare. This bed, isn't it? It's very stark looking. Maybe that's what makes it feel like it's a cell. <laughs> it's 
bed just looks like it needs some like cushions and stuff on it. Didn't I tell you I hate kids? We just lost a load of people all saying they hate them. I mean, I can to be honest, I can sell this stuff before I um, before I go to actually sell the property. So I'm not too bothered about that. So you have your little whinges. Oh, look at Ray. It's a bit freaky looking bunny as well. Oh, it's just a bit random, isn't it? It doesn't, it doesn't, add, it doesn't do enough to it. Uh, right, what else have we... Oh, this one. This guy. This guy. doing is like he's floating mm, yeah maybe maybe uh right so what else can we get in here so let's get one of these up on the windowsill definitely get a few plants in and get a few pictures and stuff up as well that'll make a big difference uh Actually, what would be quite cool is one of those big plants. Plants. It's like this guy. White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be. That's going to work. Let's move that. I must remember to put stuff down. I keep. I just keep. I keep selling things, and I mean to. I keep. Um, not completing the purchase on them. Such a lot easier just to buy them and put them on the floor and then move them. I'd love to have to stand these up as well, that would be really useful. Let's just put some let's just put a couple up on the top there. Just to give it a bit more texture again. It's kinda of coming together. It's coming together. Uh right. What else have we got? What else have we got? What else have we got? Pictures and paintings. Right, so we've got all these ones. What do we want? We want something that's kind of floating behind trees. Oh, they're tiny though. Hmm. I do like the little. I like the little ones. These ones. Let's put a picture of a cat. Why would you not have a picture of a cat? Not that I'm particularly a cat person, but you know, you can't have stuff. Stuff makes all the difference. Let's do another one up there, I think. Just to give some more layers. Oh, I know what we'll do. We'll get one of these cups as well. Not the Vengate one, though, because that's going to get lost. Let's go to the yellow one. Stick that up there as well. Just so, so I think part of the, I guess, part of the, if you're trying to sell a house, part of it is trying to make it look like, um, so not look like this, <laughs> look like someone can imagine themselves living in it. Effectively, I guess that's the point of what you're doing. In a lot of cases, um, so. Doing stuff that just not necessarily looks messy. So, like people do stuff like bake bread, don't they? If, you, if you're coming around to view a house, someone will bake bread just because apparently the smell of bread baking is extremely appealing to people. Yeah, so this is the equivalent of doing that, I guess. It's putting. Um, I think we want purples though, don't we, really? Has that got purples in it? Yeah, but it's tiny again. So that's definitely the advantage of your custom pictures, is you can change the shapes and stuff of them. This awesome Jimi Hendrix picture I'd love to put down somewhere. Let's have a look at it in here. Massive. Jimmy! 
Excuse me. Okay, let's go. It does actually kind of work in here, to be honest. Because it's an epic picture, it's probably going to work anywhere. Hmm. Tempting. Screw it. Let's do it. Not a bad picture. Thanks. Well, you did say that about the bathroom cabinet as well, though, to be fair. So, not that I'm questioning your taste. The oldies didn't love it, though. The oldies at the bottom. So, at the moment, we've got three dudes all digging this, which is not surprising because I suppose it is quite blokey. Jimmy just made it definitely an additional level of blokiness as well. Um, right. This is going to get a bit busy if we put loads of pictures in, though. Uh, got good purple. It's too big, though. Oh, man, can I not do that? That's a bit weird. Mm, not keen. Needs a frame. These are quite pretty as well. But I'm not sure we want them at that scale. What we could do up there is like a photo montage bit. Those are epic as well. Sunflowers. That actually goes quite nicely with the yellow. Maybe that would be better here than Jimmy. God forbid. Sorry, Jimmy. Let's move you outside for a minute. That's cool on the brick as well. Um. They've done a really good job of that, I have to say, of those, um, not that, this, of those, of these pictures, because, Joe, like, when you look at these, when you try and do things like this in arc, they look god awful. I think I actually prefer the sunflowers. Did we move the woman up that time? Yeah, we did. Interesting. Gender stereotypes at play. Right, so we are running a bit long on this now, guys. So I'm not going to do too much more. Lovely to get this behind there. It's kind of working, though. Kind of get it behind the TV though. We can do that. Put it down more. Put it there. And then put the monitor back. Yeah, that's what we wanted. <coughs> yeah. I think it's coming together. Um, maybe it needs a little bit more of a splash of colour as well. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think um, about so far and about the, the colours and whatever. I'm not. Sh I'm not entirely sure. I like it. It's very neutral. Um, tempted to say we just put. We could just go back to the normal pictures, put some of the smaller pictures up on this wall. Almost like a, yeah, like a connection, like a little travel, like a group of pictures that you might take travelling or something. Because they're not a lot, they're not in the, a lot in the same sort of set. They're all quite 
random those Cornwall ones are, or the coastal ones are. Let's knock the miles off. These are quite good. These will work together. What's that one like? It's big again. So I might have to just kind of fiddle around to get an arrangement of these, but this is generally the idea that we're going to go with in this corner, I think. And I can imagine, the trouble is with doing all this stuff, I'm sure that very soon I'm going to be um, running out of ideas because I've kind of done everything that I could have. Yeah, these kind of photo montage things are quite easy to do but if you use every picture then the next time you come to do anything you've you've used every picture you know what i mean so you're like okay what now what we'll do is we'll just move that all right so i'm going to fiddle around with this for a while guys so um i'll probably call that the end of the episode and yeah, let me know what you think of it so far in here. Uh, and yeah, hopefully I'll see the comments before I make the next episode. Right guys, thanks for watching. My name's Toves uh, and I appreciate all the support. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all that good stuff uh, if you want to see more of my content. And I shall catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.